I, I suggested earlier that this could be a big game for Aaron Ramsey. It's the first time we're going to see him since those, <laughs> not just links, but like pretty heavy reports to, you know, linking Arsenal to Raya to the point where now personal terms are supposedly agreed. And I said it in an update video, you know, if personal terms are agreed, then all these conversations that we're asking ourselves, they've been had. Am I going to be a number one? What's your plan for me next season? What's I going to look like? They've probably spoken to Aaron Ramsdale as well and said, look, if this player comes in, this is how it's going to look for you. So do you think there's pressure on Aaron Ramsdale? Even though this is, with all due respect, an Emirates Cup game against Monaco, it's really our last sort of friendly where there's nothing really riding on it. Do you think there's pressure on Ramsdale tonight? If, if, if the, the stories are true, then it's not, it's, are, it's not they just tonight. True. It's it's for the foreseeable future there's pressure because Raya is a good keeper. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't argue with the guy that says he's better than Ramdo. That there's there's a lot to you know to, to say he is, but that's not putting down Aaron Ramdo at the same time because I've <coughs> I've seen Aaron Aaron Ramdo be a key part of Arsenal's turnaround in the last two three two three years. Yes, massively. He's got mistakes in him, but he's also young. He's 24. I think he has he's a very good keeper and has the potential to even be a better keeper than that. I think Bayer is, you know, all round the better keeper. So if he comes in, I'd assume he expects to, you know, he's confident that he can become the, the future number one because Ray, I don't think, is coming to be just a backup. So I think he's coming to fight for that position. Yeah. So Ramsdale's going to need to be on his toes. One, one thing I will say is Ramsdale starts the season. You know, even if Ray comes in, Ramsdale starts the season and it's his to lose. And if he does lose it, then it's Ray's to keep. Oh, if, 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 I, if, I, if I was down. Ramsdale, I, I'm not sure if worried the word I would be using, but I would be extra focused. But that's, that's at the very you, least because that's what you want, though, right? Exactly, yeah. That's because that, because come on now, he didn't have the best <clears throat> preseason so far on the tour, did he? Well, the Man United game was poor. I'll be honest, yeah. Raya, you can look at his stats. I watched him last season. I've heavily focused on Ramsdale throughout the last season, so my bias is going to lean towards Ramsdale. I think I'm not saying people are forgetting how good Ramsdale is. Yes, you're right. Preseason distribution wasn't great, but he really saved us many times yeah, in, in that run last season. Like he made some incredible saves. I'm not saying. Sorry, I think people are forgetting how good Ramsdale yeah, was. Yeah, honestly, not us in discussion about it, but I think people online are. I've seen some horrible disrespect to what Ramsdale done for us last season, and he. he I I always mentioned it as well. He, he makes a key save in every game that can literally swing the match to the other team's um, to the other team's advantage. So, for me, I'm a big Ramsdale fan, and, and bringing in Ray, I don't think it's a negative. I think it, it just pushes him even more. But I think he needs that because Ramsdale. If you look at the team sheet and you come to a match on the weekend in the Premier League, the first thing on the team sheet is either Bukayo Saka or Aaron Ramsdale. So you're always going to need competition. And I said that about Saka. I, I can say that for Ramsdale. I just feel like let's not forget how good Ramsdale is. And, and you made a great point, James. That, Actually, he's been playing on my mind for a while. Like, Raya might come in and be the cup keeper, but Ramsdale's worked so hard to get this team back into a cup competition. Getting us back into the Champions League is massive yeah. for this club. And how is he going to feel? Just be like, okay, I've got you guys back here, but I don't get to play in it because you'll bring. I don't know how, as a player and as a keeper, I don't know how you'll feel about that. But um, yeah, man, it, it's, it's, it's good signs. I don't think there's pressure on him tonight, personally, in my opinion. I think this is just a Emirates Cup game where he doesn't. I, stand I would it. disagree. You can I, disagree. I think there is I, pressure on him because. God Ray forbid, and we hope it doesn't happen. Supposing he screws up tonight and does something untoward. So what happens then on there's Sunday? pressure, if not... What happens the Sunday? Building. Does, does Turner there, start Sunday? No, but the, the pressure's building. I hear that. If there's nothing changes Sunday, though. So whatever happens, it's not going to like Turner's going to step in. My, so, my strength in Brentford's negotiations. Exactly. Is there, <laughs> yeah, yeah, online we might be a bit loud for Ramsdale and as the fan base might be like, oh, Ray is a great idea. But I feel like him, if I'm talking to the player now, I say... Go and play your game Sunday. You wouldn't, obviously wouldn't say you're starting Sunday, but you just focus on today. And then when if I'm Sunday, running around Sunday. though, and I pick up the proverbial newspaper or look at my phone, and I see that Arsenal are in serious discussions to sign a keeper, naturally I'm thinking, oh man, hmm. they're coming from my position now. Or we've got, it's got to make him feel a little bit of. We've got a poll going. If Ryan signs, he should be number one. I'm going to vote Ramsdale. I'm going to vote Ramsdale. Anyway, fifty-seven percent Ramsdale. We've only got hundred votes, so keep get voting, and we'll, we'll check but, on that. Right, so right, right. No, no, no. It's not even right. I said Ramsdale should start the season number one. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, but realistically, if we're talking about if Raya comes in for thirty mil or, or around that figure, yeah, and you know the rumours are to be believed that he was our plan A a couple of years ago, just you know it didn't work out, so we moved on to Ramsdale. He's Spanish. Our goalkeeping coach coached him. If, if all of this is is true and to be believed, and you know you take that into account, then long term, if he does come in, I do expect him to be our number one. No, but what it is, fair. is, yeah, there's, 
of course, there should be a certain element of worry there because you've got a fellow, you know, good player fighting for your position. But you know, great players turn that worry into so, into motivation. Correct. Mm-hmm. And I, and I do think Ramsdale's got that in him. From what I've seen in All or Nothing and what I've seen of him in terms of his character, I think he's got that in him. But I think he's also got the the other side in him too, where yeah. he can maybe. I don't want him to feel sorry for himself because at the end of the day, you have been part of the turnaround. But at the same time, when you're at a big club a great club that are, are hopefully on the way to achieving great things. Ruthlessness is necessary. You just said, if Aaron Ramsdale makes a mistake today, nothing changes Sunday, yeah. he starts. Maybe yeah. that's why we're getting there. I, 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 I understand that. One yeah. too many of those. I understand that. At the end of the you know, last season, he was great for us, but there was also moments there where maybe Arteta's looking at it like saying, I can't afford too many of those next season. We talk about how hard it is to go up against City fight two for nail with them you've got to be nearly perfect, perfect yeah. so sometimes sentiment needs to go out the window when you're seeking perfection yeah. I'm not saying I'm saying we shouldn't worry at this stage I think if once Ray is here but then that, then it's a cause for concern in my opinion it's like when Ramsdale signed Leno was number one and people weren't saying that yeah people weren't really saying Leno should be worried is the fact that Aaron Ramsdale had to fight for his position and it, it just changed over because Ramsdale took his opportunity but I don't think he needs to worry at this stage if Raya comes in I think you're right I think he needs to be pushed and that I do agree with um, if he doesn't make a mistake they make a change but I think all of last season Ramsdale didn't make a mistake big enough for me to be like we need another goalkeeper so I just I want to just keep highlighting the fact that don't, let's not disrespect yeah but then is. Kieran Tierney didn't do anything really wrong the whole season before Zinchenko came in and transformed the team like this is what we were talking about forever Arsenal you know sometimes mm. Sometimes Arteta can open our eyes to something, like Jesus, for example, up top. I think we all liked Jesus, whether we all loved him and thought he'd be this good, he's come in and then you, you've understood what he's brought to the team. And I, I fear for Ramsdale. I mean, I'm, I'm hopeful and happy for Arsenal, mm-hmm. but I fear for Ramsdale that can Raya come in and if, if Ramsdale is 80% what Arteta wants, but Rams has 95% what Arteta wants. Do we start to see his team in a slightly different way? So what is the difference? Maybe, maybe, maybe we're overdoing it from yeah. goalkeeper. Because I, yeah. I agree with you that we, we do disrespect our players too much. The minute we signed Rice, everyone was just happy to you know, basically get rid of Partey and put Havertz in the A and complete change our midfield. And it's like, hold on, let's not forget the balance we had and what we had that got us to where we were last season. Same with people who are just kind of happy to just get rid of Kieran Tierney. Yes, he doesn't do what Zinchenko does, but let's appreciate what he does do well and understand that sometimes you need slightly different things. And immediately, Timber had like two good performances in pre-season before I heard, you know, well, White's probably out the team. And it's like, <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe. But Ben White was one of our players of the season last year. So I just think, let's see, let's see what happens. Join me and Robbie for Victory League Metaverse to watch Game for Ukraine. Yo, 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 listen up. This is going to be huge. The Game for Ukraine charity football match kicks off this Saturday, the 5th of August at 5.45 p.m. We're talking about a full-on game with big names from the world of football on the pitch. I'm going to be there and other AFTV influencers are going to be joining in and you can come and meet them all digitally. Let's make a difference together. Click the link in the description right now and get involved. This is going to be big. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform. So check it out.